So, and not to sound like I'm not happy that you're okay, but I'm still a little miffed you never mentioned you were a mother. And once again, you never asked. I guess it is none of my business, just surprising is all. A lot of mothers can't say enough good things about their kids. Oh, believe me, I am so proud of my girls. I was surprised to be blessed with twins, and Houston and Austin turned into wonderful flyers. Working together, they had a much easier time on long-range missions. We love you, Mama! Love you too, sweeties. So happy the director decided to let them move to our museum. Do they always speak in unison? They do. You get used to it. Well, if everyone is okay with it, maybe we should clarify if anyone else has kids to avoid future surprises. I'll go first. I never became a mother. I have some distant Spanish sisters, but no daughters. Well, I'm a mom. What? Really? Color me surprised. I mean, I can see Freya being an awesome mom. You never told me you have a daughter. You never ask. Oh my God. She's actually here in the museum, but she doesn't have a display spot. She still needs some restoration work, but I can introduce you. Heidi, come say hi. Hello, everyone. Mother has told me a lot about you. I hope we can be friends, too. If you're anything like your mom, I am certain that won't be a problem. Yes, so nice to meet you, Heidi. Why don't you come out more often? Oh, I'm just in rough shape. I'd rather not be seen like this. Yeah, I can relate. Well, don't be afraid to come hang out with any of us, all right? Still can't believe I didn't know about you. They didn't build many sisters for me after I was born. It's not surprising you never met us. I meant being told sometime in the last half a century by your mom. Well, it never came up before. A likely story. Who's next, Sophia? You have any daughters? Ooh, I bet she does. Sophia seems to have great maternal instincts. Oh, well, I... Maybe we should change topics. No, it's all right. They don't know. I don't like talking about it. Oh. Goodness, I am so sorry. It's fine, really. I just need some air, if you don't mind. Will she be okay? She'll be fine, I think. Motherhood is a difficult subject for her. Did something happen? That is definitely not my story to tell. Hey there, Sprite. It's me, Mom. I don't know where you are or how you're doing, but I just came to remind you again how much I love you. I miss you every day, little one. You are the greatest joy of my life. Sorry, am I intruding? Oh, Momo. No, it's all right. Just came to visit someone. I may have overheard. Did you want to talk about it? I don't really know. It's been such a long time since I lost her. Well, I won't force you. I appreciate that. They called her Spiteful. A very scary name. But I always called her Sprite instead. She took her first flight in 1944. I was so proud. She was such a step forward compared to me. What happened? Politics. Testing went fine, but my country decided they wanted jets from then on. To think I spent so long battling tyranny for my home, only to have my government take my daughter away from me. They took her away? Shipped her off elsewhere. I don't know what happened to her. I couldn't bear the idea of looking into it. Mama, Mama, don't let them take me. Please, no, Sprite, don't do this, I beg you. I was disgusted, so I asked for a transfer here to America. Eventually, I found my way to the museum. The director kindly built a grave marker for my little Sprite, even though I had no remains to bury. That's terrible. I'm so sorry. It's fine. Thank you for listening. I know how it feels. I lost my daughter too. You? You had a child as well? I did. I named her Repu. It means strong wind. She was everything I wished I could be. I was so proud on the day she was born, but I never got to see her grow up. Soon as they could, the military trucked her off for testing. I was sent back to the front lines where I wound up captured. Much later, I learned she was killed in a bombing run. I only got to hold her a few minutes. My God! Here I am telling you my sob story, and you've been holding this in. That's awful, Momo. I'm sorry. Trauma isn't a competition, Sophia. Honestly, as weird as it sounds, I'm glad I have someone to relate to on this. Did you ever think of possibly trying to find out what happened to your daughter? For your own closure, if nothing else? No. No, I don't think that's a good idea. Ignorance is bliss, you know? If you say so. I should get back before the others start to worry. Thanks for the talk. Anytime. Momo has been gone a while. Anyone seen her lately? Not since yesterday. I haven't seen her either. We'll just give her some time. No need to panic yet. We all need some space sometimes. Hey all, I'm back. Speak of the devil. Where have you been? Well, I hope you won't be mad. This better not be about what I think it's about. I trusted you. 
I know, I know, and I brought someone who was really excited to meet you. Who? Um, hey, Grandma. Grandma? Who are you calling Grandma? Sophia, this is Sophie. She's your granddaughter. My, my granddaughter? Mother told me all about you. Name me after you, too, if it wasn't obvious. I'm sorry she isn't with us anymore. But the last thing she told me was that she wished me to meet you someday. And, if I do, to tell you how much she loves you. Sprite said that. She did. She taught me well. I, I hope this isn't too much of a shock. No. No, goodness, not at all. My word, I'm just stunned. I never imagined. Goodness, look at you. How impressive a girl you are. Oh, thanks, Graham. How about that? Sophia's a Grammy. At least I'm not the only one surprised by this. And she's the only one allowed to call me Grandma. Everyone else best, not even try. Duly noted. There is one more surprise too. I don't know if my cylinders can take any more, but sure. Hi, I guess I can call you Great Grandma. Great Grandma. Graham, this is my daughter, Sprint. Delighted to meet you. Bloody hell. Momo, this is where you've been. I'm sorry. Honestly, when I looked into your family, I was never planning to say anything if what I found was nothing. But when I realized you had granddaughters, I couldn't just not tell you. Miss Momo flew across the pond to speak with me. When she mentioned your name, I knew I had to come. And I came along, of course. If you're angry, I understand. Angry? Angry? I'm overjoyed. Damn it, I'm so happy. Sophie, sprint. Come take a walk with me. We have a lot of catching up to do. Of course. I'm so excited. Also, Momo, if you ever do anything like this again, I'll hit you so hard, you'll find yourself south of France. Understood. That was a really nice thing you did, Momo. I never dared risk getting involved in that part of Sophia's past. She deserved to know, even if she couldn't admit that herself. You took a big chance. You could have destroyed your friendship with her. But it was totally worth it! Yeah, yeah. Let's lay off the friendly banter and find something else to argue about. Tears of joy, heart overflowing Finally found you, the love I've been knowing Years apart, and now we collide The moment is here, side by side Time has passed, memories faded But the feeling inside cannot be debated Through the pain, we've both survived Now we stand together Stronger, revived Real